Uh, I just wanted to uh, mention that if you haven't seen these Airbnb uh, commercials, anti-Airbnb commercials, you know, I see them. I see this stuff all the time. I see commercials against this or against that, and I say to myself, hmm, what the hell is this all about? Why are all these people against uh, Airbnb um, being in New York? And there's actually a, a bill about it. Uh, apparently, these anti-Airbnb commercials are sponsored by um, an organization called Share Better. Uh, and basically, Share Better is funded by the 32,000-member uh, New York Hotel Trades Council. And um, apparently, the Hotel Trade Council and the hotels in New York do not like Airbnb. I don't know, maybe because it provides uh, competition and also... You know, uh, it say it hurts the middle class, but I imagine that a lot of the people that are renting their Airbnb uh, rooms would probably be in the middle uh, or m maybe even lower class of uh, the financial spectrum. Anyway, um, let me just see if I can scroll down. I'm reading from a website. I'll put two links in it that will talk about... Uh, uh, Air Airbnb is fighting back, I can tell you that much, uh, but... They want to regulate Airbnb. Um, okay, hold on a second. I'm, I'm reading from the article now. I'm just like the real deal. Attempt to, okay. Uh, oh, and the article is on a website for the real deal. I will I will put links to the uh, Share Better website and then the Real Deal uh, website. Um, okay, there we are. New York is not for sale. Apparently, let me just pause here and then I'll just show pictures of. The website and I'm going to continue to talk on for a second. Okay, I'm just going to read from the article uh, things that are of interest. There we go. Uh, Share Better funded by, I already read that. Uh, another hotel group fighting to regulate Airbnb, Unite Here, has given 400000 to the campaign for One New York, uh, to the campaign for One New York. Uh, it's also a political nonprofit tied to uh, Mayor de Blasio, um, which recently shut down in the face of pressure from ethics watchdogs. Uh, the mayor has hired several employees to serve in the office, special enforcement, um, which polices the operation of illegal hotels. So they're calling um, them illegal hotels, right? Uh, illegal hotels uh, through short-term rental services in the city. I, I mean, basically, they're uh, they're... Getting into your uh, business now, it, it, you cannot do anything anymore without um, someone cracking down on you if it hurts uh, special interests or large money interests. Um, and uh, the real deal attempted to analyze the effect of such commercial listings, uh, uh, whatever, this uh, council member, Helen Rosenthal, has uh, introduced bills to strengthen short-term rental regulation. Uh, which is what uh, Share Better and the other group I just mentioned uh, would support, I imagine. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Rose, uh, Helen Rosenthal. And now it's closer to the group, calling a marriage. Blah, 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 blah. Well, okay, on the, on the bright side for a Airbnb, um, they've launched a well-funded and highly sophisticated lobbying effort. They're not doing commercials. They're not... Um, turning um basically you have uh, if this is going to be an issue that's voted on these commercials are turning the public against airbnb and making them seem like some kind of demon and uh perhaps they do have some effects on on uh the cost in new york but that hasn't been going down that is what it is and again uh that's what competition is about if Airbnb is less than the hotels, then the hotels will have to lessen their price, and they don't want to do that. So, um, I don't know. This is something where it makes me, I watch the commercial, and I say, gee, maybe I should be against Airbnb, right? Because of all these horrible things they say that they do in the commercials. Uh, but then when you just dig a little deeper, you find out, oh, it's the people who don't want the competition.